Google Farm Friends. I just got this really cool bed railing from, um, you know, your uh, bunk beds. Um, I got it from a friend. She's moving out. She doesn't need it anymore. And so I wanted to see what I can do with it. It's pretty long. It's got a decent length on it. And when I saw it, I kind of thought it might make a really cool wheelbarrow, like side runs on it. So I am going to measure it out. I got a bunch of scrap wood back here too. And I got some other stuff laying around. My workshop's pretty messy. But um, I want to see what we can do. I want to see if we can make a wheelbarrow out of wheel, wheel barrel. So I, I have this piece of scrap plywood I'm going to use for the bottom. And I measured right here. This right here is 20 and a half inches long. I think I want to make it so that it's three-sided because if I measure my full length of this piece here, it's just about 61 inches. So I'm only going to have enough for three sides anyway. Um, so I'm going to cut the two longer sides right now and then see what I need for the middle and kind of configure what we all need for the support. Okay, so what I've done is I have cut some of this scrap wood to make a second um, panel right here for a support beam. And I actually cut four pieces like this because I want one for this corner and then this corner, which I'm attaching this side. But then I also still need to attach my back and I wanted another support beam for each one of those. So I am now attaching each of the sides and I did notice that it's easier if you attach this, your other supporter beam first, and then I'm just using my and nailing up from the bottom. I might add screws later, but right now I kind of want to get the shape together and kind of put it together with the path order and then add more screws for support. So I'm going to add this side and then the back piece and I will get back to you guys. Alright, so for my back panel, which I'm on right now, I decided I'm actually going to use this support beam. So, of my big piece, my big, um, what's that called? The bed railing. I cut from the side my two first initial sides. And so I have this, which is across the center. This is right in the center. So I'm measuring right here. I want it to meet the edges on here. So it's right at 12 inches. So I'm gonna find center here and then put my ruler here and go six inches this way, six inches that way, and then just trim it up so that it'll fit perfectly on my back. All right, friends, so here's my dry fit and I feel like it, it, it looks really nice um, like this. Right here, it fits, seems to line up pretty well on this side. This part is just a smidge shorter. It's probably hard to see in the video. Smidge shorter than um, this rung. So all I need to do is unscrew this one screw, rise it up to match a little, and then re-screw it in. So I think I might do that just to make them look a little cleaner. And then I am gonna just attach it real quick with my um, pass loader again. All right, friends, so I attached both I'm sorry, all three of my panels. And then the rest of the work was pretty much from the bottom. Okay, so what I did was I have had this circle piece laying around for forever and I just couldn't figure out what to do with it. And I thought I was gonna make a tiered tray and all kinds of stuff. So I feel like this will work for my wheel. <clears throat> These are some trim boards I got from OneVid.us if you are a local space city. They are an awesome online company and I literally got these trim boards. Just a huge scrap wood pile of repurposed trim for like dirt cheap. And I did have to rip the nails out of these but I feel like it's what gives it character and I love, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but they are rounded on this side. So it kind of gives it a cool effect to the bear wheelbarrow um, and so the hardest part was finding something long enough for that because I wanted it to go all the way from the wheel axle to be my full handles. This is all screwed in. I did do my pass loader first so I could kind of hold it there 
I did some screws in there. So this does not work as an actual wheel. This is more of a decorative piece, obviously. I added this brace to kind of keep my handles pushed out as wide as they could be down here and then screwed that in from the bottom. These are some scrap two by four I got. I think I got this from my sister-in-law's farm out in their their um, field. They have they got a bunch of stuff milled. And so that's what I used for the leg. I let me see, I pack loaded first and then screwed in. That's not super tight though, so I could probably re-screw there. But I just wanted to show you guys. I feel like it came together pretty well. So I know it's hard to see because I got a bunch of scrap wood behind it all. But I got the wheel in the front, the axle, some legs which is kind of set on, and then the handles in the back. It has this opening. So obviously this thing needs a good coat of paint and I think it'll tie it in all together. But truly, it is a relatively sturdy piece. Um, like I said, I might need to tighten up some screws and stuff. But I think this is pretty cool for starting with just a one bed railing. It wasn't even a whole bunk bed set or anything. This is one bed railing. And then some scrap wood, some scrap plywood, some old trim. It's pretty cool what you can do with some scrap pieces laying around. So I hope that this piece inspires you. I am going to paint this puppy up and throw some cute stuff in it, use it in my garden this year, and when I get done, I'm going to send you guys a picture in the comment section below. So tell me what you think, what you like about it, maybe what you would change or do differently in the comments below, and send me a picture if you guys end up doing something like this. This is pretty cool, bunk bed wheelbarrow.